I thought they were lying. I started beating one of them after some time. I realized that they were telling the truth about their condition, and the doctor also confirmed that this disease will affect my other two children. When I was preparing to go to school one morning, I suddenly experienced a cloud vision, and before I knew it, I lost my sight. To learn skills such as tally and others. Miss Njovu is a tailor, but can no longer conduct her business and lives in a four-roomed house which was given to her by the Catholic Church. I want to build a toilet when I am paid again. I want to also buy a bag of cement and some iron bars. Community Welfare Assistant Community Officer Kumayando Mlunda has appealed for more support to Miss Njovu's family. If he may be well wishers or donors can come on board and assist them the way they look because they cannot do anything on their own. Acting Kafue District Commissioner Josephine Piri says government is committed to ensure that the vulnerable continue to receive the social cash transfer. The social cash transfer program has emerged as the country's major social assistance program for poverty reduction in Zambia and has so far scored tremendous results in improving the livelihood, the living standards of the vulnerable population in the country. The district has a total number of 6,279 beneficiaries. Patricia Banda, ZNBC News, Kashiwe. Army Commander Lieutenant General Dennis Alubuziwi says the Zambia Army is committed to continue playing its key role of maintaining peace in the country and beyond. General Alubuziwi says the security of the nation depends on the skills and dedication of all professionals in the defense force. General Alubuziwi was speaking during a farewell uh, par parade for the outgoing Zambia Army Commander Lieutenant General William Sikazwe in Lusaka. Details in the following report. A Zambia Army parade mounted in honor of immediate past commander Lieutenant General William Sikazwe was not short of the stateliness, elegance and style expected of our men and women in uniform. Festivities at the Arakan Barracks Parade Square began with the former Zambia Army commander inspecting the parade just before accolades of his illustrious 38 years long military career were spelled out Army Commander Lieutenant General Dennis Alibuzwi eulogized his predecessor for modernizing the Army and championing professionalism. It is under your command that Zambia Army made significant strides towards modernization. Numerous acquisitions of military equipment were made in line with our modernization agenda and the vision 2025. In terms of expansion, you will be credited for establishing specialized formations such as six armored brigade, one artillery brigade, four engineer brigade, and the three special forces group. In his farewell speech, General Sikazwe emphasized the need for continued professionalism among soldiers and officers in the Zambia Army and pledged loyalty to the Army commander and President Hagainde Hijilema. My special thanks to the Republican President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Hagainde Hijilema, for having kept me in this appointment as Army Commander following his victory in the just-ended tripartite elections and for ensuring that there was a smooth transition between me and yourself, General, as my successor. I shall remain loyal to you, Mr. President, and the people of the Republic of Zambia. The Army Commander and his predecessor signed the Army Commander Handover and Takeover book to symbolize the official transition of command. Tuambo Siavuapa reporting in Lusaka. We take a break. We have more stories after this.